So on today's topic, uh, it's not really about a blog that I'm going to be getting off my head. Uh, it's a topic that I'm going to... Basically, it's, I'm trying to read something and I thought, why not read it as I record it and post it to you guys. So if you find the topic interesting to you, you can continue watching till the end. If not, again, my bad. So today I'm going to be dealing with a topic that uh, our society has been trying to avoid for a very long time. And uh, there's this notion that uh, you have a friend... Uh, like you've been living with a friend or something <coughs> sorry see corona so you've been having a friend that you've been living with you have a relative that you've known for a very long time but uh there's this some tabias some tendencies that you don't know if they are psychopathic or they are normal so today i'm going to be trying to explain to you guys or trying to read on a vlog that i uh, saw online so that's why i have my computer over here to read and uh, it's how to detect if someone is a psychopath how to detect if someone he is a psychopath so i'll start by quoting one uh ted bundy uh ted bundy said something to do with uh do i remember ah uh, he was saying i don't feel guilty for anything and i feel sorry for people who feel guilty now that's a dangerous statement it's a quote from uh ted bundy so it's i don't feel guilty for anything and I'm very sorry for people who feel guilty. Uh, uh, that's supposed to be how you know if someone is a psychopath because if you don't have a conscience, you don't feel guilty, there's something that is very wrong with you. So I'm going to be giving you around at least 10 points on how you can be able to detect if someone is a, a psychopath. So I'm going to start with uh, point number one. And the most obvious one for everyone, uh, a psychopath are people who are extraordinarily manipulative. Then they can make you do something, and as you do it, uh, you are actually convinced that it's your idea, but it's not your idea. They manipulate you into doing what they want you to do. So that's the quality number one of a psychopath. If you get someone who is very manipulative, good at their game, they tell you one, two, three and you think it's actually your idea you think you're actually telling them what you need to do but at the end of the day it's their points and it's things being done their way so if you have someone who is very manipulative extraordinary manipulative be careful they could be a psychopath so that's number one so if you have a friend a family or yourself you think like you've checked that box let's go on and see what happens next so that's point number one if you make a right like when a psychopath to that point <laughs> you put the you put the alarm on your on your cap page mali so number one is people who are extremely extraordinary manipulative they have a high chance of being psychopaths point number two uh psychopaths are people who are quick to read others very well very well and they are very ready to exploit your weakness hmm? like they spend their time trying to read what you want how your behavior is if i do this you're going to do this if i treat you this way you're going to react this way so they get to learn you and once they get to know your weakness you're done because they don't fear anything they are very much ready to exploit that weakness again as you are watching this video if uh, you've ever exploited someone's weakness after reading them for your own good there's a high chance it could be a psychopath so that's point number two someone who is very well at reading others and they are very ready to exploit your weakness that's number two number three again uh but this one looks like a visitor beer and uh, a psychopath are people who are really and very 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 charming like if they want something from you and they want to cut here you uh, there's no way you're going to avoid them there's no way you're going to say no to whatever idea they're going to bring about they are very charming they know how to get into your brain and like it's like whole it's like saying like they have you wrapped on their uh small finger they are very charming like they know you can't go anywhere you can't do anything about it so that's number three psychopaths are very charming so far they they uh what you've described seems like a good thing right they are very charming they read you you may think it's romantic like someone is reading you they're trying to know you better <laughs> so that's point number three very charming 
Number four, psychopaths are people who will do something to you or rather they will hurt you and you won't see it coming. They will hurt you really bad but you won't see it coming. They can hurt you today, they can hurt you tomorrow, the day after but you never see it coming. Hmm? You just try to find excuses to excuse their behavior but at the end of the day they know what they are doing. They will hurt you over and over again and it will get to a point actually when you tell someone like you know so and so was a psychopath then everyone will be like no the person saying no most likely was a victim of a psychopath they don't see it coming you don't believe that they could do that one so might have your neighbors your friends your co-worker saying he was a psychopath but you don't believe it you are a victim so uh another point i don't know which point we are, i think number five or something uh just keep writing on your book and then uh, compare see if uh, what level of a uh, psychopath <laughs> are you and uh, a psychopath is someone who will tell you exactly what you want to hear you remember in our earlier point uh, a psychopath was someone who uh, who read you and they know your weakness so if they know what you want to hear now that's an added plus to them because they have to find out what you want to hear and what makes you come down so you, you know like i can do one two three and akijam sana what can i do to call calm him down they know what you want to hear so they always say what you want to hear they don't say the truth they don't lie to you they just say what you exactly you expect from them psychopath eh? mm-hmm. i know i'm thinking of a, a number of people in my life who could be in that category i'm not judging uh well, for this point of telling someone what they want to hear i know that's not me i could be falling in other categories but that's not me then another point and the most dangerous point actually one of the key things that makes someone a psychopath is that uh, they have no conscience whatsoever they can do anything to you they can hurt you they can harm you they can go ahead and kill you they can they can do many things to you but they won't feel guilty for it they have no conscience no conscience at all you see conscience is that part of your body that will tell you like no this is wrong don't do this like after you do it maybe you might feel guilty but if you don't have a conscience my friend humanity and you are not on the same page so if you don't have a conscience and if you can do stuff to people and you don't feel guilty about it chances are you are a psychopath that you're talking about uh we have another point uh psychopaths are people who fear nothing like basically fear is an alien concept to them they don't know what fear means they fear nobody they don't know the concept of fear they don't know anything to do with fear so if they want something they will get it if they know you might harm them as a, in the process they don't fear they will still get it do whatever course it takes because they don't fear anything that's a dangerous person again and then they also have this tendency of uh, you see the way you can read someone and know like someone does one two three since the psychopath himself or herself is trying to read you and know what to do to you and know how to say what you want to hear and how you can react basically they want to know your weaknesses so what they do they cover their tracks so you can never know what they're going to do next Basically psychopaths are people who have a inconsistent history that's the word actually they have an inconsistent history they can do 1 2 then jump to 10 normal person do 1 2 3 4 they can do 1 2 10 7 6 5 4 49 20 20. they are inconsistent because they want they want you to ever get to them they won't want to get them exactly and uh, another point is that uh, their eyes are dead and lifeless dead and lifeless Uh, that would mean like uh, according to Ted Bundy a psychopath is someone who can look you straight into the eye lie to you never blink look into you straight in the eyes na kudanganya kabisa and stick to their lie you get them all, all on their lie they refuse deny 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 so psychopath are people who will look you dead eyes give you to na kudanganya you know it's a lie they know it's a lie but they stick to it psychopath eh? Uh, another point and uh, this is actually even new to me so uh, let, let's just read it uh, psychopath often speak in a monotone voice uh, so the statement says it's almost impossible to rely on psychopath enough to get him or her to raise her voice 
Mm. So not to live eh? Another common trait is that uh, psychopaths routinely speak in a monotone voice. The rise and fall of inflection in most people verbal delivery is a sign of an emotion. A psychopath doesn't care and have no real emotions. So they st- like you see the way you can talk and someone detects like in your voice you're emotional you you are feeling what you're saying actually you mean it exactly psychopath don't have that they have a flat voice they can just say it now tomorrow the day after the tone remains the same no feelings no emotions no nothing they have no real emotions so those are psychopath eh? and uh that point actually brings another point in like uh, they lack empathy they lack empathy completely so when they are there hurting you and you are there busy crying they don't feel it they actually don't understand how you are feeling what you are feeling they do not understand it why because here they are they are cuckoo i mean for lack of a better word they are just nuts mm? so they don't get anything emotional they have no empathy they cannot relate to your situation they will hurt you and think it's still normal and they don't get why you're being a cry baby get it Mm? So so far, I'm sure most of you guys are watching this video. I'm thinking like, ah, uh, could be one of these guys, eh? <laughs> and we were not judging anyone, not judging. Anyone. We're just trying to figure out how we can detect if our family, our friends, ourselves, if we could be psychopaths. Eh? Actually, we're almost close to end uh, of our uh, vlog today. But uh, we have another point uh, that uh, psychopaths are they are supremely arrogant. Hmm. They feel like uh, whatever they're trying to do to you that are uh, or even yourself they feel like they are entitled to whatever they want they feel like whatever they want they need to get it the feeling of entitlement to them it's very strong as a result they get arrogant they don't know how to beg you they don't know how to calm down they don't have to let go of their ego uh, actually even to some extent they think actually you might think it's their ego that is driving them whatever to do whatever they're doing to you but no they're just arrogant they don't care they don't have empathy they want to hurt you they've learned your weakness they want to exploit it against you it's a psychopath eh? it's a psychopath for you hmm? they are very arrogant very 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 arrogant they feel they have that feeling of entitlement on anything they want anything they do hmm? another thing uh, if they get caught they seem unconcerned they seem unconcerned about the consequences wow now i know someone in my life who is exactly a psychopath because you get them in a lie and they feel totally unconcerned they don't care about the repercussion they might even get make it the situation even worse they don't care about the repercussion that's a psychopath and uh actually this the next point actually related to someone th- something that I mentioned previously uh they adopt uh they adapt at lying to your face they get used to it they can just lie to you look to your face and like you poor fool they lie to you to your eyes you poor fool you poor buffoon and they, they sell the lie to you and you won't do shit about it uh, anyway uh one of almost our last point is that uh, as children psychopaths are often violent towards siblings they commit other violent acts like when they grow up you can even know if your kid is going to be a psychopath mm? they tend to be violent so if you have someone who know from uh, their childhood they've been violent to their siblings violent to kids around them violence to anyone around them violence is another sign of someone being a psychopath because they want to hurt you but as they grow up and they, they they mature they tend to huh, how do i say it like they suppress their violence they don't do it openly now they they think have you ever heard of a uh what is it called Th- this k- kind of murder that is planned is it premeditated i don't know something like you've planned it's not like an accident at him by accident no it's something they get to plan so psychopaths are people now when they are small they are very violent as they grow they suppress it and they know how to plan whatever they want to do they cover their tracks remember eh? they don't want to be seen and uh, our last point away as we finish our vlog uh, and i think it's taken a long time psychopaths are dominating and they are controlling they want to be on top they want whatever they say goes 
they want to control you hmm? you might seem that uh, you are in charge of everything that you're doing but a psychopath will always make sure that uh, whatever is being done is what they want whatever is being done it doesn't matter what it is but it's going to be according to what they want why because they are going to be dominating you they're going to control you so uh on my next vlog i'm going to try and talk about how you can avoid a psychopath because psychopaths are people who can hurt you they can harm you physically emotionally mentally so how can you avoid them and if you've already met them and you're currently uh, with someone who is a psychopath how can you uh how can you get yourself off of them because you need to get yourself off them before they get to a point where they can hurt you so if you know a psychopath and uh you've been struggling and uh, trying to figure out how you can uh, stay away from them or maybe have them stay away from you or maybe divert the attention they are getting from you so they can just go away and maybe deal with someone else i'm going to be talking that uh, on my next vlog that's going to be tomorrow so i hope you're enjoying our vlog today and uh, thank you so much for tuning in my name is rocky mutengi and uh, in case you're new, new here remember to subscribe and uh, we're just starting i mean just support your brother subscribe like comment and share and as we grow most likely i'm sure the confidence everything to any, anything you're going to be doing is going to be growing and uh, we're going to bring you even better and better vlogs but for today thank you so much for watching and if you're listening to this means you've watched till the end and i appreciate so much Heshma. Ujenda bado. Bye bye.